You can download the art seen in the video for free, link in the description. Freeze Frame is a simple addition that when used alongside a screen shake, can improve the visuals and impact of your game. For the Freeze Frame effect, go to any script within your game, create a new custom function and call it Freeze Frame. We will also add two built-in float variables, time scale, which will set the speed that the game runs at, and duration, which is how long the effect lasts. The Freeze Frame simply sets the game's speed down to a low amount, then resets it after the duration. We also make sure to add void, as this function is not returning anything when we call it. First, we grab the engine and its timescale property and set it to the timescale built-in variable of the function. This will set the game's internal speed, slowing it down or speeding it up, respectively. Keep in mind that this only affects timer nodes, await timers, and delta, which includes process and physics process functions. This does not affect audio and may break the accuracy of physics interactions if the timescale is set to a different speed from 1.0 for too long. Next, we call await and create a timer with the duration set as wait time. We then set some internal properties for the await timer. And finally, we add dot timeout as that's the signal that we are awaiting for. As for the boolean properties, the first two are the same as their default. The first property makes sure that the timer continues even if the scene tree is paused. The second property makes sure that the timer updates with the process frames instead of physics frames. And the third, which we change from its default, makes sure that the timer ignores timescale, ensuring that the timer runs for the correct amount of time and is unaffected by timescale. Alternatively, you could instead remove these booleans and just multiply duration by the timescale. Then, after the await reaches the timeout signal, meaning that the timer is complete, we then set the engine timescale back to a default of 1.0. Now, we can call this freeze frame function and activate it. Keep in mind that it is good etiquette to make sure that if there is a chance for a level or scene to change, that you set the engine's timescale back to the default either before the level change or during a ready function. This is to ensure that the game runs at the normal timescale without the chance of it being stuck at a different amount from 1.